Hi everyone, so this is the Googleology edition of how many humans to defeat each animal. And in this video, we're going to look at three different animals that humans are required to defeat. The first one is a gorilla, the second one is a lion or a tiger, the third one would be a T-Rex. So I know recently there's a trend, um, you know, a huge trend uh, about videos uh, asking how many humans require to defeat a gorilla. I think the number is 100. They're asking, uh, can 100 humans defeat a gorilla? And of course, there's some other um, videos as well asking how many humans to defeat maybe a lion or even a T-Rex. And I also saw a video asking how many gorillas can defeat a T-Rex. I think the video suggests 100. So can 100 gorilla defeat a T-Rex? So something like that. There are a lot of videos on that in the several past months. So of course, as you know, if you watch my videos before, I have two videos before the first the first one is a googleplex marines versus grams number of ants and the second video is grams number of ants versus thanos from marvel universe with the infinity gauntlet um, and you can watch those videos to see which one i think will win and also you can look at uh, the comments to see what the people think as well and of course in this video feel free to leave your comment on what do you think um you know would win how many humans required to defeat each of them or maybe you can some people even say no amount of humans can defeat each of them um and actually that's a very common answer surprisingly uh like you said, like I said, um, some videos, actually a lot of videos saying no amount of humans can defeat a gorilla, especially the T-Rex. I'm sure a lot of people said no amount of humans can defeat a T-Rex. So we're going to look at it. Of course, I'm not a biology expert or animal expert, but we're going to look at it in terms of common sense, physics, and Googleology. So anyway, let's first, uh, let's get started. So in this scenario, the humans are fit. A healthy human of course otherwise there's no point of making such video i would say each human is around 180 pounds that's just average i mean it doesn't make a it's not a huge difference if you put 160 pounds or 180 pounds doesn't make a huge difference and of course they're not fear of death they would fight to the death and not running away of course that's a very important i think otherwise if all of them are free fear to death then th again there's no point of making such video the animal would win automatically if all the humans just escape so that's one of the rule they cannot be fear of death and of course no weapons allowed just bare hands um and i mean for this one uh, i'm not sure some people um some videos would let them to use that human bones I mean, if some people die, some people can use their bones to make weapons. I'm kind of open to that. Um, but if, if that's the case, the human would have a much bigger chance of winning. And the amount of human required would be much less if we require i mean if we let if we let the people use the bones to use uh, for weapons and then for the arena it will be a flat open land um nowhere for you to hide uh or making traps something like that because if you allow to make traps then probably like three or four people can kill a t-rex you know if you give them prep time and making traps something like that and of course like i said already no escape is allowed you have to fight you cannot just you know escape and go away um so that's the basic uh rule for this scenarios so first of all uh, let's look at the gorilla scenario so in my opinion i mean of course that's just my opinion i could be wrong but i think around 20 to 30 healthy human would be able to defeat a gorilla uh, you know, following all these rules over here. Of course, again, that's just my opinion. It could be less than that, or it could be more than that, but definitely not no amount of humans. I mean, at some point, you know, if you, let's say you give them a million human, there's no way a gorilla can defeat one million human. Uh, because if, when you say no amount of human, that means not even a trillion, not even a Google, not even a Googleplex or Grams number, because you're saying no amount. So even infinity of infinite amount of human would not beat the animal which doesn't make any sense i think to be honest i think 98 percent of regular human or regular people they have no idea of big numbers basically uh when they say you know no amount of human can defeat 
let's say a T-Rex, Gorilla or whatever. They just don't know the sense of big numbers. So in this kind of video, basically you are talking about quality versus quantity. In this case, quality would be, you know, these animals over here or quantity in this case would be human. Um, but in Googleology, things are different, you know, in the real world, most of the time, you know, of course we said quality over quantity all the time, but in Googleology, it's kind of reverse quantity is better than quality and it is i mean it, it it's true for most of the case especially let's say for grams number of ants can easily beat a google plex or anything basically so quality doesn't matter anymore when you have big numbers in googleology um but i mean i think that's fair i mean some people if they're lucky or whatever they, they, you might even only need maybe like five or six people to be the gorilla of course they, you know we, even without weapons uh, people can just you know i think they said attack the eyes you know if you get a lucky hit you know and the stamina is the human's strongest area so i don't know if you don't know human is one of the um you know one of the best thing about human is uh stamina and st i think human stamina is better than Probably ranking either, I think the top three, I'm not sure if it's number one or number two, but in terms of the animal kingdom, uh, human is probably the top three in terms of stamina. So let's say long distance running, no people, I mean, no other animal can beat a human in long distance running, for example. Let's say a marathon, 20 miles or above, you know, even a horse can beat a human. Um, so a lot of people, I think they just don't know, um, you know, the stamina of human and they just underestimate human. If you have a human that's not fear of death, they can do great things. So I would say around 20 to 30, you can just attack their eyes or, you know, just, you know, use our stamina, you know, um, you know, and of course you have to attack it all at once. You cannot just go by one, one, one at a time. One at a time, of course, the gorilla, you, you know, any animal could probably win. Any animal that is like bigger than a human, if you go one, one on one, you know. So no one on one, you have to attack it all at once from all sides, from the back. There's no way the gorilla can, you know, can, you know, beat everyone at the same time. Let's say 20 humans attack it at the same time. Some attack it from the back. And again, uh, I include the weight over here just for reference. So I don't know if I just look it up online. I'm not an expert, but this is the estimated weights. So 350 pounds for a gorilla. So it's, it's around two human. The weight of two human for a lion or tiger is around 500 pounds, which is around three human. So it's not a huge uh, advantage for the animal in terms of weight if you if you say 100 human you know 100 human can easily outweigh the animal here and of course here i'm saying all human are attacking at the same time not one at a time um that's the big you know point over here and then for t-rex is 10 around 10 tons i think i look it up online so it's around 110 men so for t-rex i didn't put a number here because this is a way more difficult thing to determine because first of all t-rex is not it's extinct already um, there's no way we can i mean the first two animals they're not extinct we can still look at we know how they interact how they fight but t-rex is kind of everyone is just guessing but i would say uh it could be of course since i put 30 to 50 to a lion so i would say probably a few hundred for t-rex i mean definitely more than a hundred you know if you're using common sense I would say maybe 500 plus, but definitely not a million, not a trillion. You know, every human in the world, I think around 8 billion right now, can definitely beat a T-Rex. You know, again, you just try to attack the eye. And of course, you know, if we let human to use bones for the dead people, you know, make bones um, as a weapon, then definitely they can defeat a T-Rex. It's not impossible. It's not, no amount of humans can defeat it. You just have to, you know, overwhelm the thing, the animal by numbers. It's kind of like asking, you know, um, think about like a million ants versus one human. Of course, the ants is going to win, I think. You know, of course, those ants, they have to be determined to defeat the human. And also just like, for example, a thousand rats or mouse versus a human definitely the mouse would win so sometimes you know if if size is a huge difference you just have to make it up by quantity especially in googleology eventually um this one is definitely false in googleology eventually you know could be but this is a very simple thing about physics you know if you have enough matter in one location it would automatically turn into a black hole so let's say 
the universe, the at least known universe, doesn't even have a Google atom. So if you have a Google of something, it will immediately turn into a uh, supermassive black hole. So no animal can survive that, of course. So T-Rex, I'll probably say 500 plus humans, maybe. I don't know, it could be more or it could be less. You just you need to have some people. I mean, of course, a lot of people will be dead probably, but you just need eventually um, the T-Rex or any animal would be exhausted and then people would try to climb onto its back and attack its eyes or even choke it you know if a t-rex you just need the animal to make a single simple mistake if it falls oh then it's the human can easily win let's say the t-rex fall onto the ground stumble you know it can definitely happen or you know if you if you try to eat a human it get you know choke on a human definitely then you, you can die already so definitely not no amount i would say probably five hundred to a thousand but anyway this is just my take on how many humans are required to defeat each of these animals again this is just my opinion and guess but definitely not no amount of humans there's a number for each of these because again like i said the known universe doesn't even have a google atoms and eventually um enough atoms will create a black hole if we allow that to happen then all the t-rex would die <laughs> by the black hole so anyway feel free to leave your comments below to tell me how many humans are required to defeat each of these so anyway thanks for watching and have a nice day